What is up guys? I'm Daddy Game, my friend, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the Intego this DLC video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another trial. This one is for Lacey. Uh, this is the same one that uh basically introduced us and brought us into this uh Blueberry Academy. We fought her first. I I'm at the wrong place. I thought I was here already, and I'm apparently not. Okay, I'm pressing so many buttons at once. It's not doing the correct thing. No, I don't want you to do that. I, no, not that either. Is it this button? Yes, it is. And then you press press the wrong button. There we go. Map. There we go. I'm all the way on the other side of the world. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Fly. Fly here. Let's go. So let's go here and battle her. I believe her challenge is a quiz, like a quiz show, kind of like Blaine's um, from Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, which should be easy, if I'm not mistaken. If it's just a quiz, should be able to knock that out, no problem. My Pokemon knowledge is 10 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Let me heal my Pokemon. And again, I am not making a Pacific team. Um, I'm just going to go in with this. Coridon is going to be my ace to Terrasilize. But I'm not going in with anything special in mind to like to fight with or anything. Um, I'm just going, and if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. Um, it says, "Welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that support Miss Lacey of the Elite Four, and you're Fred, right? One of the BB League challengers. Yep. You need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Are you willing to pay? Yes." <laughs> Says you paid 50 BP. Thank you very much. Duty received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. And here she comes, coming with three eyes. Oh, if it isn't Fred, I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me and I'll show you to the trial site. Okay. Where are we going to do this in the classroom? Oh, in the grass. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Fred. Of course, it is true that this is quite irregular under the bylaws of our school's clubs, but mainly I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun though, so let's get to it and have some fun. The trial I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Okay. Let's see if I can get these right. Are you ready to attempt my Pokemon quiz? I am ready. Let's do it. Great. Then. I'll just get everything ready. We're not doing it here? Oh. She turned into a Pikachu? Question one. All right, here we go. Look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon well known for producing electricity with its body. But in which part of his body does it store the electricity it generates? Go right for the body part that you think is correct. Okay. Which of the body part? Um, oh, I gotta choose. I think it's the cheeks. Wow, that was easy. Of course, me, Pokemon Master. Ding, 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 you got it. Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacs of its cheeks. If you poke at the sacs, you get a little shock, I bet. But don't you think they're just super round and cute? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next question. I'm sorry. Question two. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you think it will be, isn't it? 
but it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So, here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonet is able to use a certain body parts of his body like a radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. Which part of Venonet's body acts like a radar? Go right for the body part that you think is correct. The toes. Can I click the toes? Oh, feet. No, it's not the feet. It's the it's these, right? Stop moving. Antenna. Oh, what? It's not the antenna? Oh, that's so close, but incorrect. I don't see why you think that, though. I'll give you a hint. What are you looking for? What are we looking for is quite a large part of Venonet's body. I guess again, the eyes? The eyes. What? It said like a radar. I guess, I guess so. Ding, ding, ding. That's right, Venonet's big eyes that serves as radars. Isn't it Venonet even more adorable when you think about how it sees the whole world? We can't see. Now then. I think we're ready to move on to our next question. Yeah, because I got that wrong, so it's the eyes. So if you get a question wrong, it still lets you continue. It says, getting weary of my my quiz? How about a cup of tea? Or maybe these three... Um, sing... <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. It says, getting weary of my quiz. How about a cup of tea? Or maybe three sinister blings. Is question three. Sinister, sinister, like a live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. And it's hard to tell which cups are genuinely antiques. One of these synesthes is an antique form synesthe, meaning it's found a in a real antique cup. So, which one has the real deal? I think it has a label. I think it's the middle one. I don't see the label, and then this one's not even spinning. Yeah, I think it's this one. Ding, 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 you spotted it. That's right. An antique form synesty can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter whether they're antique form or phony form. They're all so damn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next quiz question. I could be doing this all day. Question four. This is the Meteor Pokemon Minior. It comes from all, it comes in all different colors you know I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish mini aura for me okay all right guys mix it up real good okay now you're ready for question four which of these is the pinkish I first showed you I think it's this one yep got it Ding, 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 you did it. Even after they return to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Aren't meteor adorable? Their color variations based on what they eat. Oh, now then, I think we're ready to move on to the last question. Let's go. Oh, look here. Here comes Grand Bull. Maybe it's heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question of the five will involve Granbu here. Granbu is quite dedicated and lovable Pokemon, of course. But can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Granbu, which body part I use as a pillow? The belly? What? 
What? Why is that even a, a, a... Ding, ding, ding. That's exactly right. I use the soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up with it, it's so soft and cozy, we both fall asleep in seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You managed to get all five questions right, which means... Congratulations, Fred. You officially cleared my elite trial. That was so easy. Got all of them right the first time. And I passed, you know? Why don't we head back to the plaza? Don't say otherwise. Don't say otherwise that I, I messed up. Since you passed my elite trial, you earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Really? Move straight to it. Let's go. Let's battle. No time. Let's get right into our positions. It should be about far enough. Let me properly introduce myself. I'm Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I get challenged from someone like you, Fred. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, ha, huh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you, I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. There's just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too cautious or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know this already, right, Fred? Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold back anything. I want to be sure you walk away with the proper understanding, after all. You're about to learn that cuteness is the real strength. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. This is this time I'll be facing you with my usual party as a leaf four. Okay. Intimidate. Okay. Okay, hit that guy. We are gonna do I'm gonna do fire blast, but I'm gonna do it on Winston Cop. Cause I believe it's grass. I think it's fairy grass. Knocked him out. Which is great. I didn't think I was gonna knock him out with Olga Pond. So I take that W. Fire blast. Didn't kill it. It's a rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which why I'll be turning right, right back to you. Okay, you gonna throw out a water? Focus Ash. Focus Ash was used up. <gasps> oh, the sun and moon water starter is here, bro. Let's go. What? Special attack. Bad out. Knocking it out with one hit. Let's go. Do I get to use uh oh yep, fire blast. There we go. Get you out of here. So that's four of Pokemon down. Easy. Easy with this team. And I didn't even think that the uh, uh oh slow bro. Didn't think that I was going to be able to hang, to be honest. But we're hanging in pretty good. Owl Creamy and Snowbro. I don't know how to judge this. I'm going to hit Owl Creamy with this. And I'm going to do Fire Blast and Snowblow. Did she just buff him? Attack, yep.
didn't knock out our creamy, but did take significant damage. And the same thing with Snowblow, didn't knock him out, but did pretty okay. And am I dead? Yes, I am. Um, I think we throw out the two, right? Okay, so it has leftovers. I am gonna throw out the mule, the two. Let's hit out creamy and let's hit slow world with the psychic attack. Quick draw. Moves faster. Oh! He one shot it, my guy. Okay. I respect the slow bro. Let's get you out of here, though. There we go. Recover. Okay. Okay. What? What Pokemon do we send out? Um, like Masquerada. <laughs> Thinking that he's gonna throw out a fairy, let me throw out Masquerada just in case I need to do um, Night Slash, right? Okay, maybe not. Okay, all eyes on the great big Terra Heart. Okay, she's gonna Terra. Oh, it's a fairy, most likely, right? Yep. She gave it a heart. Hmm. Okay. Psychic. Get out, creamy out of here. Oh no, it's still holding on. Flinched. Oh, okay. That's different. Light screen world off. Try that and then try that. Hopefully that gets her out of gets her out of here. Yes, it does. Okay, we're done with our creamy messing around with stats. And let's use a little play rough on this drill. Didn't knock it out of the way. Get him! Let's send them flying with your adorable destructive what? Oh damn it. Okay, okay, it's super effective. I might have to send down Coridon. Terrasalize Coridon to get this done with. Not very effective. All right, let's try that. Terrestrialize Coridon. Attack with Coridon with a flamethrower, even though it's not a fire one. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The other one said not very effective, so I didn't want to click it. But we are going to hit it with a flamethrower. And then we are going to hit it with a psychic. And that should be enough to clear it out of here. Yep. GG's. GG's, Lacey. Get out of here. 
You defeated the BB Elite Four, Lacey. <laughs> I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. And we are gonna get our... Red Fred, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. They were super cute. He <laughs> he, for sure. And I get the best views as a trainer since I'm so close to the action. Your Pokemon were very cute as well, Fred. Phew, you know, it's just not right for us two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture with everyone? Okay. I take it though. That's cool. Oh, this one is just too cute. I'm gonna make myself a, a backup copy or three. <laughs> I give this to you as well as proof of your cuteness. Okay. Thank you. You really are very strong when you get serious in battle, Fred. I wonder how far you were able to get all facing against the strongest trainers in our school. I will be keeping an eye out on you and your progress. Okay. So one more. We're going to see homie. Homie's going to come up and talk to us. Yep. Like always. Yo, yo, Champion of May Gang. Oh, that's like the, our rival from Pokemon uh, um, uh, First Generation, Red Blue. He's always saying that. Th that's three of the Elite Four you trounce now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Lacey's all about the cuteness. And that's what helps her make her Pokemon strong. So she's into her team. Training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems to be busy running himself and everyone into the ground. Just getting a bit stronger. Oh, that's homie. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really leaves an inspiration. No wonder it has such an effect on, um, carry on. Um, but enough about that. I guess your Elite Four match is going to be against me. Nice of you to say the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. Alright, I'm going to battle him next in the next video. I have to. I have to figure out what's his trial and do it. And that's going to be it for today's video, though. Let me know what you think about this trial in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I enter all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. Do you think that quiz was cool or a little bit too easy? I wish they got deeper with the questions, but I kind of understand why they kept it a little bit easy with it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Daddy, Gamer, Fred, the Trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!